So continuing with the with the case, now according to the owner, this dog has three three periods of uh, itchiness. One was very young, and then bring back the breeder, and then and then was okay after that. Then one about five years ago, and then one period is recently three three uh, three three months ago. Now according to the owner, he has changed to dry dog food. Before there was cook, uh, eating home cooked food, and also. Uh, so this could be one of the causes, huh? because the dog food, there's some, something allergy inside. Then uh, the other thing he gave dog treats. Dog treats also can cause uh, allergies, because they are, they are part of the processed food, which is the same as the dog food, dry dog food. So these are two things I asked him to stop. Then uh, the other thing is, what, what he confirmed with me is that below, it's very oily and very smelly after two or three days. Those are normally the yeast infection, the yeast from the body. They multiply and then they spread and then they let to go to the fatty tissue so there's a strong yeast smell so so this part is uh, is uh, causing the itchiness then uh, the other thing is the ears now we check the ears which is okay from what i see just now so in this case there is no infection of the ears where you hold the doctor no infection of the ears we deal with the color first no infection of the ears because yeah, in, in most cases actually the problem is ears uh, ear infection but there's some uh, discomfort yeah. so we definitely like it uh, so there's no discharge one thing that is very painful there's no redness on the CD side come turn first well we are just looking for ear mites but normally you can't see anything because the owner will put something inside you really. Just dirty wet, so we will clean the ears and then we will shave the dog board, shave all board and uh, shave all board. And uh, from what I can see, is uh, you can do all the skin scraping and mics, but the important thing is to shave board. See, this is very bad, normally, it's a yeast infection, very painful. So, over the neck, you notice there's no dandruff. There's no dandruff. Other dogs, normally they have dry skin. So this dog has actually oily skin. And uh, so it is different from the the one which is normally uh, fungus. Huh? But of course, yeast. Yeast is uh, very common when the dog is uh, not strong. The immune system is poor. This is eight years old, right? Yes. Okay. This, this is a strange case where the dog really Three months ago was scratching and then he went to two vets who prescribed some drugs. But as you can see the dog's been scratching here very badly. Only the neck area. And of course the paws and uh, the whole ventral abdomen, which seems to be okay now. And suppose it's very oily and smelly, according to the owner. So the main complaint actually is here. Why would the dog be scratching the neck? So the ear is not bad. There's some pain, but it's not uh, inflamed or anything. Both ears are like this. So we turn over. We turn over and see. the whole area is inflamed and this is due to the e collar hmm? so for the last three months the dog is very itchy after changing from cooked food to commercial food so it could be a case of dry food allergies so we stop the dry food and just feed home cooked food, rice plus meat, pork plus uh, veggies for three months. Then we will see how it goes here. Yeah. And we give treatment, shape, shape board. Yeah. This is a female. And uh, the ventral side seems to have recovered.
little bit on the neck. Okay, a quick check for ultra uh, for ringworm. So we just use ultraviolet light, start, and then uh, have a quick. Okay, there's some fluorescent, but uh, not much. Okay, some go further down. Let's systematically go. Let's go. Just go around the body. Let's go. Okay, then the other side. Okay, the other side. Because this dog has been treated by the other vets, so it'd be hard to, to see original one ringworm. The paws. The paws. Yeah. There's some fluorescent. This paws. Because of treatment, so you don't expect any positive. It, December 2016. Okay, this dog had three months of uh, itchiness and the, the scratching of the neck. So the treatment of skin disease, generalized skin disease, is to clip them bald. As you can see, after clipping bald, you can see that this is considered a case of generalized pustular dermatitis. That means a lot of pimples, rashes. Huh? So this is a case of generalized pustular dermatitis, which is normally due to bacteria. Of course, we cannot eliminate yeast as well, but uh, usually it's bacteria. And uh, then the pore wise, the pore will be due to licking the itchiness, huh? so licking. And uh, now it's possible this dog suffers from the dry food allergy because of the change of the history of changing to dry food three months ago when they moved house. Now, uh, food allergy normally does show in itchiness around the ears, swelling of the eyes, but that we don't know because it has been treated by two other vets. And just, but now you can see this in interesting part is that there's a lot of small, small pimples. Eh? And uh, seldom do we see so many pimples in a dog. These are just started. Now, it, it could be also, also ringworm, but then we, we, we can't tell because it's, it's uh, been uh, treated. Eh? Hey, okay, finish. Yes.